Hello students, in this video, I am going to teach you a problem based on projection of straight lines. This is a type 6 midpoint problem. problem. Okay. Instead of fixing one of the ends of the line, here we are fixing the midpoint of the line. That is the difference between the previous type of problem and this type of problems. So now, we need to proceed with the given data here. The midpoint is at a distance of 60 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of VP. Yes, I have taken 60 millimeters above HP and 50 millimeters in front of VP. Now, we will draw the locus of M and M dash with respect to the given dimensions of 60 millimeter and 50 millimeters like this. And name this locus as locus of M dash locus of m okay as, as i told you we are fixing the midpoint of the line so i'm going to take the reference line like this yes okay and name this point as m dash and this point as m okay now we'll proceed with the other data the ab line is 30 degrees inclined to hp and 50 degree inclined to VP. Okay. Just place your protector on this point of M dash and take an angle of 30 degrees here like this. Yes. Similarly, place your protector on this M point and take an angle of 50 degrees to the VP now. Yes. Just placing my scale on the particular line like this and draw a line from this M dash point to a distance of 4 millimeters not 8, 8 millimeters because half of the distance is above this locus of m dash and remaining half of the distance of the point is below this locus of m dash okay so the remaining half have to be drawn in the bottom side on the same line like this yes so it should be like this clear yes now you have drawn the true length in the front view right there are two end points is this end point is nothing but a1 dash and this, this end point is nothing but b1 dash. See, after locating this end point, we can able to locate the locus of this end points also. This is locus of b and this is locus of a. So after drawing the line for an angle of 50 degrees and we can able to locate the point of A2 here and B2 here, right? And also, we can able to draw the locus length for this respect to end points is here like this. So, this is an locus of A and this is locus of B. As you see in this diagram, we have drawn the true length of the line in both front view and top view. With this, we will proceed for the final top view and final front view. After drawing the true length of the line, now we need to project the line from this B1 dash point to the opposite side fixed locus. Here fixed locus is M. So, we have to extend up to this M here like this. Yes, similarly, for this point of B2, we need to extend it towards the opposite side fixed point. Here the fixed point is M dash. Let us name this lines as this as B2 dash and this as B1. As okay. with the compass, you can able to complete the remaining part of the problem. Take M dash to B2 dash as a radius and M dash as a center point. Draw an arc from this B2 dash till it intersects the locus of B dash. Similarly, measure M to B1 as a radius and draw an arc with M as a center point like this till it intersects with the locus of B now. Let us name this intersection as B dash and this intersection as B. Same steps we need to proceed for the end point of A here. Placing my scale on point of A2 and project this point vertically upwards till it reaches the midpoint of this point here yes and similarly 
have to extend this point of a1 dash till it reaches the midpoint of the opposite side locus yes so let us name this point as a2 dash and name this point as a1 okay we need to take the distance of m to a1 as a radius in my compass and m as a center point draw an arc towards the locus of a here like this direction yes similarly measure m dash to a2 dash as a radius and draw an arc considering m dash as a radius towards the locus of a dash here and this point this arc will intersect on the locus of a dash here and name this intersection point as a dash and this intersection point as a now we need to connect this b point b point and m point as well as a point all the three points should lie on us same line okay then your diagram will be correct similarly sorry b dash b, m dash and a dash okay this is how our final front view and final top view will look like in the case of midpoint problem okay thank you